All right. So, welcome to New Tristram. And my completely random Demon Hunter Season 9 video. So, oh, this is my Templar here. He's got the super cool looking Frieza Deflection. And the super cool sounding Thunder Fury. Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. I'm going to make him go away so he doesn't get in our way of the rest of this ginormous posse I have here. I buy Templar. So as you can see, I've got to dye my armor pink at least once per season. And uh, let's see if the wings will do their thing. Dance around. Oh, there they go. Yeah. Gotta love those uh, crossover items from other games. Especially when they look as cool as this. So, as I mentioned, this is an embodiment of the Marauder build. And I have Caldasons on all my Marauder set pieces. Uh, at least level 70 on all of them. And for all that cluster arrow goodness, I've got Manticore. As you can see, it, it can increase cluster arrow damage by quite a bit. And Bombardier's Rucksack, which increases sentry damage by quite a bit. And gives you two more sentries, because sentries are the crux of this build. I've got Focus and Restraint, fairly straightforward. I've got Zoe's Secret and the Raps of Clarity so that I don't die, because I like not dying. Uh, Hellfire Amulet, uh, this one's not ancient, it's only piece that's not, but it has very good critical hit damage and critical hit chance. And I've got the necessary 37% cooldown reduction necessary to have 100% vengeance uptime. Because really like getting revenge on things. Uh, let's go check out the cube here. Let's back, back up. Dawn. Always a staple of the Kanai's cube for uh, vengeance based builds. And uh, yeah. Reduces cooldown vengeance. Because we like to get vengeance a lot and often. Uh, we also have the Hellcat Waste Guard, which makes grenades bounce all over the place. Super fun and super effective. And then we got the Convention of Elements. We really only care about fire, but it's a rotating door. Super exciting. And we've got, got some skills. Because we got to get good. Pretty standard Marauder, Cluster Arrow with those bouncing bombs, Vengeance, Vault, this doesn't really matter because Marauder gives me all the companions, uh, Polar Station, um, that actually goes well with Call the Weak because the Polar Station freezes them, Call the Weak allows me to do more damage, Grenadier because the turrets are going to shoot out grenades whenever I shoot out grenades. Custom Engineering, because we like having more turrets. And Awareness, because we love cheating death. And we're going to go check out what's in the stash. So, materials, gems, legendary gems. Hoping to make a staff of hurting someday. Ramalama ding-dongs. And some infernal machines, you know, no big deal. And all these weapons that I just sort of keep around. Most of them are ancient, I think. And uh, adorable little quivers. I completed all of the Demon Hunter set dungeons this season, so I've got some set pieces left over from that. Plus a few extra gloves, because my hands get cold. I can't throw this out, the Dark Mage's Shade. You put on your robe and wizard hat, even if you're not a wizard. And just a few uh, pieces I used to complete the Thrill Conquest, where I couldn't wear any set pieces. And the infinite collection of puzzle rings, seemingly infinite. And a few Ancients with bad rolls. And my Ancient Belt Collection. Hunter's Wrath, Crashing Rain, unfortunately not the Witching Hour. Sash of Knives, Chain of Shadows, Harrington Waistguard, Gold Wrap, 
and all the Hellfire amulets I've felt like constructing that didn't work out. And we got, you can see inventory and in a stash. I've got plenty of these boxes. We'll open them later. And then a few things from the Darkening of Tristram, all my potions, and a few other random weapons that aren't very useful, but kind of cool. So this season I reached 744 Paragon, which is the highest I've ever reached by quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I, uh, before we close, we are going to stand in front of the stash and we're going to open some boxes. This is going to be fun. Oh, we got a lot of blood shards in the ground. Let's see. Well, the usual materials. Oh, we've got to identify some stuff. That's okay. Oops, we're putting them back in the vault. This is exciting. All right, there's lots of stuff there. Let's go identify it. That's a lot of sanguinary van braces. Ooh, Avarice Band. Actually didn't get one this season until now. Go put one of those away. Put a few avarice bands in the vault. Yeah. These are all silly. Pretty sure I have all these. I'll put away the materials at least. Pauldrons of the Skeleton King, Coven's Criterion. Hmm, no envious blades. Go delete them. That's a help dropper. Okay. Boots of disregard. Yeah, just stand still and let things happen. Oops, I cannot salvage those. How many more of these boxes do I have? There we go. up all the stuff is the fun part. Okay. Let's put away some materials. Let's see if we pick up all the stuff on the ground. It's a pretty huge thing on the ground. Oh, 
Why could I pick these up? Let's pick that up first. Okay, yeah. There is no room. Let's go get rid of some stuff. <laughs> Salvation. I got three of them. Let's just get rid of all the yellows and then go back for more. And repeat. Do we need to identify? Oh, we do. Okay. Oh god, these really ugly uh, death bargain pants. One day I want to put on a whole set of things that only come out of bounty caches just to see how ugly they are. Because that would be hilarious. But, uh, yeah. I think we're done with the great unboxing. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Season 10.